Hey everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be July's Amazon haul. All right, you guys, this is a ton because this month Amazon had their buy two, get one free on their books. So I have a little bit more than I would normally have. Oh, who am I kidding? You guys know I love books, so just deal with me. Bear with me here. Um, the first thing that I have is this is only part of the stack because I did not want to have to pull them all out. They're already on the bookshelf. I bought 66 of the Who Was books. Um, mostly, for the most part now, our collection is complete, which means that we have a ton for the upcoming school years and we have a ton for me to start working on. Yes. To answer your questions, there will be a Who Was unit for all of them eventually. So I will just link the Who Was link down below and you can um, see which ones you like. Like I said, I purchased 66, tons of different ones, but I purchased all Who Was, not any of the what or the where, just the who. Um, I also got a set of black dry erase markers. Emily wanted to have a small dry erase board in our caddy for the upcoming school year just to practice math. She feels a lot more confident when it can erase like that. For whatever reason, putting pen to paper is more intimidating for her. So I wanted to make sure she had dry erase markers for that. And along the lines of putting pen to paper, I thought that having erasable highlighters and erasable pens that were specifically hers might be helpful because they're a little bit less permanent and she's not a fan of writing in pencil so this would maybe make writing a little more fun so i got her some of the friction erasable highlighters and then the parku erasable pens now, if you guys watched my curriculum video, and if not, I'll link it up here, you know that I said I'm going to be planning a very large zoology unit for this year. So during the sale, I got a ton of the Who Would Win books. Um, I got all of the, like, Who Would Win One Animal Against Another, and then I also got all four of the Who Would Win the Rumble ones. So you have the Ultimate Ocean Rumble, and the Ultimate Jungle Rumble, the ultimate bug rumble and the ultimate dinosaur rumble. And this way it would give us um, some fun additional ways to dive into zoology because in case you have never seen them, it pins the two animals up against each other head to head and it talks about their anatomy, um, where they live, the different climates, what they're, you know, what they're made for. It shows you like, for instance, their teeth and their skulls and just all kinds of really awesome stuff what they eat and then in the very back of the book it gives you kind of a checklist and you can check off how many things the lion has versus the tiger and you can kind of pick who you think would win so it's just a fun way to go a little bit deeper into zoology if you saw my Usborne haul, you guys know that I bought Emily a book called Dogs in Space and she loved the idea that dogs did something really, really awesome like that. So I thought it was going to be a really fun thing to give her other things that animals have done, like real animals have done, like to save the world or to do these really awesome things. So I grabbed the book Wild Wives which is 50 extraordinary animals that made history and some of these are really cool like one is a pigeon um who helped in a, one of the world wars and just all of these really cool things are all animals that did something really really wonderful to save the world and it just tells you a little bit about each of them and david graybeard is in here from jane goodall which is the first one emily read and loved because she's obsessed with jane goodall and then I also picked her up 30 Courageous Cats, Fearless Felines. There are true tales. So there's just 30 different stories in here of different cats that did something super courageous. So another one that I know she's going to love. And then this is a series that one of my friends on Instagram turned me on to and they are really, really amazing. I love the Who Was books, but I love these because they tell more about the person and their personality versus just facts about them. So these go very well with the who was, because you read the who was and that gives you a lot of the facts. And then if you read the few pages that are in here about them, it gives you kind of more about their personality and like who they were as a person. And I just really enjoyed that. So it is the Extraordinary Lives of series and this is the Lives of the Explorers. 
Lives of Extraordinary Women, Lives of Artists, Lives of Scientists, Lives of Writers, Lives of Musician, and then the only ones I'm missing are Lives of Athletes, Lives of Presidents, and Lives of Pirates. But now that I know how much I love them, I will add those two. Um, each one includes, I think, about 12. So you get like the picture and then two to three pages about that person. I also picked up um, Meet the Math Facts for her. This is Multiplication and Division. We have the edition, and if you guys have stuck around any length of time, you know that I always put on an educational show during lunch for Emily. It helps us have a little bit of a long time, and so I wanted something that was mathematics. And she likes the little songs and the little skits and stuff for these. So this gives us three different DVDs that we can work through and just kind of help her master her math and um, multiplication and division facts. I also got the Parts of Speech Bingo. We've actually already played this one twice. Um, it, I didn't even realize that there was like so many different ways that you could play one of these bingos. So there's eight different ways to play it. And it is a really great way to practice those Parts of Speech. And if you watched my last Amazon haul, which I will link up here for you guys, you know I bought the Go Poop Zoo and See the Marine Life. And we love them so much that I went back and purchased the Pet Edition and the Wildlife Edition. So now we have all four of them. They're just funny. Like you can't say Go Poop and not giggle. Um... And they're really educational because there's facts about each of the animals and their scat. So they work really, really well with traveling the parks too. So we've been playing them a lot. I also purchased the Learning Resources Tri Facta, which is, um, they have an addition and subtraction one, and then this is a multiplication and division one. So we've had addition and subtraction and we really like it. So I went ahead and got multiplication and division for the upcoming year. And what it is, is you're playing, it reminds me a little bit of Rummy because you kind of have like all your numbers down here and you're trying to get rid of them, but you're playing to make a math fact. So you have like, subtract. well, this would be division and then multiplication. So for instance, it would be like four times six is 24, 24 divided by six is four, 24 divided, and it's kind of something like that. All right, the last thing I have that I'm gonna consider homeschool because I promised you guys I would show you everything and I would just show homeschool at the beginning and then everything else at the end is this flag set. Um, We've had an American flag for forever, but then somebody that I follow on Instagram posted this one and I thought it was so adorable to have the state flag too. So it was just like $12 on Amazon and now we have the American flag and the state of Florida flag. So I want to learn um, the state pledge this year. Okay, and then for the non-homeschool stuff, Emily has an upcoming birthday and she wants a mermaid birthday party. So one of um like the dresses that she has i buy them at amazon she has almost every style but she did not have the mermaid print yet so i got her a mermaid print one and then i got me a new maxi dress i love these because they are lightweight enough and um, that you can wear them in the summer but they're like very conservative because they come all the way to your ankles and this is just a navy blue one with blue flowers and Probably my other favorite feature is that they have pockets. So I can still put my phone and keys in my pockets if I need to. So I got both of us a new dress. I also got a new set of card holders. We absolutely love these. We use these like crazy. Um, but my dad and stepmom do not have a set at their house and we were playing phase 10 over there recently. So I bought a set to keep at their house because my mom has them at her house. So this way Emily has the card holders that she loves no matter where she's at to play cards with. Her little hands just can't hold, um, you know, 10 plus cards. So it makes it easier. And then I mentioned an upcoming birthday. So this year, I'm gonna dump it. Emily's big gift from us is a tree house. We are building her like a tree house platform thing and she knows that that's her big gift. But 
This went on sale on Amazon a week or two ago and I couldn't pass it up because she's been wanting one. So she is going to be unwrapping a learning resources botly from us, which is um, one of the coding robots. And then I also got her the botly action challenge to go with it. So it's got the accessory set. So that will be her birthday present from us. I guess technically that could be homeschool, but it's her birthday gift. So that is everything for this Amazon haul. Please let me know in the description box down below what you have been getting from Amazon, especially what you got for those two for one book deals.